Coming to the next question, a patient presents with the ocular motion defect. So, there is a motility defect and position of the eyeball is shown. So, can you see position is down and out. Now, always remember this. Whenever we have the position down and out, it is always the third nerve palsy. So, answer to this question is the defect of ocular motor nerve. Now, how do we get this? So, always remember a simple thing. All 3, SO4 and LR6. Always remember that all the extraocular muscles are supplied by third cranial nerve except for SO4 and the LR6. So, if I am getting this third nerve palsy, all extraocular muscles will get paralyzed, right? Except which two muscles? Except for this SO4 and the LR6. Now, what are the... Um, actions of this SO4. It's an oblique muscle, so main action will be the intorsion, O for oblique and O for opposite. Superior will go into depression and we have the rad, recti R adductor. So, oblique will cause abduction. LR will also cause abduction. So, if you see depression and abduction, so I will be downward and outward. So, always remember whenever I am getting eye down and out, it is actually the third nerve palsy.